Hi, um, I live in Europe and I'm not American, so I don't have exactly the right political context. So sorry, this is a difficult and I acknowledge sensitive question. Um, do you envision that the cruise will require masking indefinitely? And if not, what would it take to make them optional in the future? Uh, well, you, you know, the, the masking question is a difficult one. It's, it's, complicated. it's a complicated decision to make. Um, and we uh, look at a number of different factors, and some of them conflict with one another. Um, and then we try to sort of thread the needle. What we try to consider is, uh, you know, science, uh, official recommendations uh, from uh, government health organizations, uh, you know, what uh, standard practices are on cruise ships and within the cruise industry. Uh, also, uh, what uh, we believe the community wants. And again, that's obviously a very uh, broad spectrum of of, of opinions and, and uh, desires as far as masking goes. Uh, and then we try to make the best, the decision that I think supports the community best, that is, that sort of errs on the side of more safety uh, and errs on the side of um, allowing more people uh, to feel comfortable attending. Um, and we obviously recognize that Anytime we make a decision like this, it's going to make some people happy and some people less happy, and that's just, I mean, there's 2,000 people who come on the ship, we can't, there's no way we can have a massive policy that everybody likes. Uh, so that's how we ended up in this place, uh, uh, and the, the process will be largely the same as we look at next year. I can tell you that uh, we are very much hoping to make this decision a lot earlier, um, and we understand that that was part of what, what made it difficult for everybody this year. But, you know, it's the way, you know, a year ago, I mean, the, the, the COVID situation has moved and changed so quickly at times that you kind of have to try to escape to where the puck is going to be. Um, and I think, you know, in recent uh, weeks and months, it's been the numbers have been more stable. It doesn't seem to be swinging wildly in one direction or another. You know, all we can do is look at the trend and try to predict. But I, you know, I, we have all talked about how we, we really, really would like to make a decision early on and let everybody know what it is so that they can decide what they want to do. That being said, we are also really adamant that if the situation changes. And the, uh, we do want to, we do need to make a change for safety reasons, then we will do so. So I, you know, I don't have an answer for you. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't have, masking is different in, in, in wherever you are, I think it's, the, you know. County to county. Yeah, exactly. So it's very hard for us to predict what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the decision the same way, but again, we're gonna try to make it earlier. And our, our plan right now is to make that decision before the 100% refund deadline is done, knowing that, yeah. So the, the timing for this year, uh, we were trying to err on the side of caution because we had this new variant and this, we've seen what the winter surge was going to be like. Uh, and we didn't want to make, you know, decide one way and then turn around and have to decide another way. So we were trying to just give you all one answer. But that said, we are a little too much on the side of answering it too late, we fully understand. And so yes, we are going to make that decision for a year either way. And the other part of that, um, so there's, there's that, and also that it's a lot like Florida, in that there are things that are well out of our control, and they involve um, laws, um, legal issues that aren't settled, and that they're evolving. So even when we announce that policy, um, we can't 100% guarantee that if we say there will be no mess or there will be mess, that we have to react uh, to all these things. But we did learn the lesson um, that at the earliest we can provide good information to them. And, and again, just for, oh, pardon me, uh, regard, regarding the feedback, um, you know, it, even when it's hard to hear and that there's anger and that we 
really do appreciate it. It's important to know where everybody is. And I want to say for both the guests for whom masking this year has been incredibly important, and also the guests for whom it has been a turnoff, that we, we really hear that, and we are going to review along with everything else the feedback after this event. And there will be a question in the survey about this. As we, if we have, I've been on the, the cruise before. We do have a survey. We really do want to hear what you, what you think and feel. Thank you very much. Thank you.